Hey gang, welcome to Inverted Pursuits Lab, or welcome back for those of you that are familiar with this. So today we're actually going to be discussing the OpenRC F1 platform. So as many of you know, I've printed a good handful of these. I'm actually up to five as of this year, which sounds insane. So I printed one of Daniel Norrie's original cars, his 2017 mod, and even some of the updates for the 2018 variant that he made. And then I decided I kind of needed to go a bit further, and I made the video I did last year where I released the OpenRC F1 2022 edition on printables, which you can go and download. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link for that in the description below, along with everything else we're doing this year. Um, so this car like saw a lot of changes, but also saw a lot of problems. The biggest one being that like the lid didn't have any actual retention. So a lot of you chose to ditch the floor that I designed and use the original floor and still then use the uh, side wings. So you could clip retain the lid like it was originally designed to. And I noticed that being like a massive issue and something that I absolutely like hated that you had to do. And that I mean, I also had to do, I mean, this thing is actually glued on because I turned it into a display piece at my desk at work. Um, and I mean, I did other things where I made a single print nose cone uh, like front nose and wing, which looks cool, but it's also kind of a pain if you want your wing black, but you want the body section to be like red with the rest of the car rather than black. Um, so there's some different things that like, while I did a lot of cool things, there's stuff that just didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. I mean, even these wheel brows, um, if you're not careful, they're very easy to break off. And that's one of the things I changed for this year was to make these more uh, sturdy but this car needed a lot of work and just like some other things that I just didn't quite finish off on the car from last year to truly really bring it up to what the current spec is. And so with that, I developed OpenRC F1 2023. So this car is considerably different, but also considerably in family. When you look at them initially, they're really hard to tell the difference between. The number one thing I did is I released my nose that is now compatible with a, a community mod for the four wing here, but I also have my own uh, three wing front wing that I designed available as an attachment for this nose as well. So you have multiple options when designing your OpenRC F1 car. Now, if you want like the little side fins here in black as well, you'll need to do a multicolor print, which I also did this year, trying to make my fin from last year look really cool. And I'll show you that in a moment. Um, these wheel brows, as I mentioned, are considerably thicker down at a base that I can't show you, uh, but you'll notice it in the models if you were to compare them. Uh, in my opinion, the biggest change is actually what I did with the floor down here is I made it vented, unlike last year's floor that was completely solid. I added the vents here to give it some really nice aesthetics. I also updated the mirrors to meet the 2023 mirror spec. Um, the rear fin also got a slight modification to allow it to work with the updated lid system. Oi. Oh, that's what I did with it. And I left my screwdriver behind me. So the updated lid system actually utilizes two M3 screws placed where the old wing clips went. So I know screws not as fast as a clip, but it keeps the look of the car while still giving you the functionality you need. So you just undo two screws real quick and very quickly you're into the car. Um, I did also make modifications to like the base of the car for this um, plate is now my own previously. We'd been using the Crack Fox mod um, up that actually had the vent. This one's not vented, but it has all of the features I needed in it. 
um, but it was also modified um, from the original Nore file to match with the Crackfox Halo that I really like. I also modified the original Nore front um, that I would modified last year to allow for the Crackfox to Halo to interface in a little slot here on the front. Kind of try and get that closer for you all to see that that just slots right in place. As we come back, the biggest area of concern I had was when I glue this fin usually into my lid, is that when I go to push it down, I'm like almost cl clicking it in place here. I'm having to bend this fin out to get the lock pin to set in. And I really didn't like that. So I actually made a modification that's not present on this car where I clipped the back edge off of this fin to make it a passive piece going into the back. And so it doesn't actively lock the back down. The lock pin is left as the feature locking it down so you're not forced to bend it and then like potentially break it, which is something I've done on several of my test prints. Um, other than that, the next really big mod is the rain light diffuser, um, which I got rid of the classic Nore fin design and went ahead and just kind of made it a straight dump to look a little bit more like what this year's actual car does. All in all, the changes are very subtle, but they make the car more in spec and more like community friendly in my opinion and really like a lot better to use. I did also modify tires. Um, I'd seen some community mods out there for different tires and decided I needed to make one that went more in style with everything, I, uh, with the way I design things, um, rather than like just this square I had done previously. So it's not much different, but it is different and it gives the car a really nice look, in my opinion. But like, that's the basic updates for this year. Um, but I got a little obsessed and needed to go further. And I couldn't just leave it at like a basic update for 2023 because the updates seemed too simple. They were just fixing common issues that I'd seen or aesthetic issues. I wanted something that went a little further. And so some of you have already seen this because I already released it. It's the OpenRC F1 2022-2023 Aero mod. And this is my prototype print from that. Um, and it's got all sorts of aero features on it. Now, this thing is 100% glue together. Um, I've seen there is one out there uh, I saw after I designed this, actually, um, that uses uh, like bolt-on screws to screw everything together. And I didn't really want that. I wanted you to be able to print it. So you can print it upside down like this, um, flat on the build plate. Um, and a front half and a back half that then uh, pin and glue together. So there's two print in place pins and holes that click together and then you can just see I glue it across. Um, but I still didn't want to have like hardware for these inlets, which the inlets are each individually printed. And so they're actually just CA glued in place where I just ran like little fillets down the sides here and around the edges. And on the inside, I ran all sorts of very aggressive fillets to hold everything in place. But then when this is printed in black and mounted on the car, in my opinion, it looks really cool. It's very much a different vibe from the like basic update to the floor I did this year. It's a much more aggressive intake on the front in comparison um, and just kind of gives the car a very unique and aggressive feel. But it's also, as you'll notice back here, made to interface with this new rain light diffuser I released. So it gives it the dump vibe that the actual 2022 and 2023 cars have. Now, something you'll often usually see with the 2022 and 23 cars is that this actually then like extends into the rain light diffuser. I didn't really feel like trying to figure out how to make that happen. Um, also, I kind of wanted to keep the base vibe of Nori's uh, rain light diffuser the same. So I kind of did very minimal modifications on it, just enough to give it the like open dump feel. Um, you also notice on this I have the two servo mount screws coming out the bottom here. Uh, the mods I've released online uh, actually have the screws going in from the top so that you'll mount the screws from the top to hold it down. Um, this did offer an interesting thing where when I drive it it will spark uh, which is kind of funny if you want to have like an interest or a similar vibe to those uh, the actual cars on the track. 
Now, one thing I will say for the Aero mod, it does not give you much ground clearance. So unless you're driving it on extremely flat uh, concrete or asphalt, you will just scrape in high center constantly because that's all I ever did with it. Whereas this leaves the really high ground clearance that the Nore design is classic for and gives you great control and handling. Now on this, you'll also notice I did a dual color print and place nose cone. Um, so it's the exact same nose cone that was on my 2022 car. I just did it in dual color um, on actually my Bamboo X1 Carbon. Um, so I did the green on the front and the black for the fins. Uh, you can see I had some different DLAM issues as I was working on like how to do a dual color print. But I just thought it was really cool to do a dual color uh, print on the vehicle and give it just a slightly different look. But again, as I mentioned, I've released a modification for this that allows this same style of wing to be mounted to the nose down here. Um, I just haven't printed it for myself quite yet because it's not really the look I want. I've got the two looks I really like in these cars. And I printed two cars already this year. I'll probably print more, but I'm trying to not at the moment. I think my wife would probably appreciate that. So um, these are the two OpenRC F1 2023 cars that I designed and they're two like different approaches on the same concept. And I'll get the 2022 one in frame here. Now the links for this whole design will be in the description below where you can find all of these on printables from just the basic 2023 updates to a full car update to even the link for the aero update and i'll go ahead and toss in the link for the 2022 car as well as a link to daniel norris original designs because i none of this would be possible without daniel norris incredible work to start this like lineup and like I've had so much fun doing these projects every year. Um, I don't really know if we'll have a 2024 variant. If something drastic in the rules changes, maybe, but probably it's gonna end up waiting until we get the big engine change in 26 um, before I decide to make a major uh, mod package again. This year was really more about kind of going after the little things that were just wrong with last year's designs. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I really enjoyed building these cars and love seeing all of the makes you guys post online and all the images of different builds people have done and how they've themed them. As you can see, my themes are pretty basic. I did Ferrari theme last year. This year I did Aston Martin uh, theme. I just kind of come up with a color that vibes with the team and that's what I print. So I really enjoy seeing your uh, creations and I look forward to seeing what you guys do with the OpenRC F1 2023 design this year. Thanks for watching gang. I'll see you all in the next video.